Hello everyone, my name is Sasha, aka Your Frugal Friend, and if you don't know me, I am a top 1% seller on Etsy in the digital product space. I am also a course creator and a commercial template creator. If this is your first time joining my channel, I create educational content for digital products creators who sell on Etsy and on their own website. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you cannot miss out on any additional content that I make for my channel. Okay, great. So today, someone actually reached out to me and asked me if I could teach them how to make an animated video like the one from this Etsy listing. So you see here, it's two layers. Um, there is a rotating picture underneath. It's a color wheel spinner uh, project. You put a Brad pin on the top. You play, probably played with one of these when you were a child. It's a super fun coloring product that you can sell on Etsy. Uh, and to create an animated video of it is even better because video sells more products on Etsy according to Etsy. So how would we make this? So first, you're going to take your um, template that you create. This is my Days of Creation coloring wheel that I have in my own Etsy shop and you're going to save it down as a PNG. Then what I did is I took it into Photoshop and I took um, the top and then the bottom and then I took this and what I did is I took the, ma the magic eraser tool, I erased the background on this one, I erased the background on this one, I turned it into a smart object, then I rasterized it, then I started to color it in then I exported it as a PNG with that transparent background. And then from there, I brought it back into Etsy. I mean, not Etsy, into Canva. And so then what I did is I made a wood background. So then I have this. You can right click and do set as image background. I grabbed some crayons. I have crayons on the uh, these exact crayons on the listing image. I just threw them right there. And what I like to do is if I don't want things to be able to move in a listing, I, I let in a design rather in Canva, I like to lock that design. So I'll do lo lock position only of that one element in Canva. And then what I did is I brought in, I did upload. I uploaded those two top and bottom images. And then I made, made it smaller because it had that eight by 10, I mean, eight by 11 and a half US letter size uh, shape. So then what I do is make that smaller, make that smaller. Then I like to layer them on top of each other and make them the same size. This is usually the trickiest part because you wanna make sure that when you're spinning it, it makes sense. You can make that top one bigger than the bottom one like that. And you can override the snapping by holding the control key to make it where you want it to go. So I have that, I'll select both, and I'm gonna turn it here. And I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, perfect. All right, so then I wanted to grab that Brad pin. I had the Brad pin on another one of my, um, on the product and the listing images I created. So I'm going to lock the position of the Brad pin because I don't want that to move when I want to animate it. Then you can go to position and you can go to layers like this. So you can make sure that you're grabbing the layer that you want to lock. And we want to lock this top layer. Lock position only. And then we want to select the bottom layer. And then you see here that we can spin it. And you want to make sure that it looks fine when you spin it. You can see on this top part right here, it's not quite aligned because that black line's like getting thicker. <laughs> and you see here, there's some white space. So you wanna make sure that, that it will look good when you have it spin around. So then we can redo it here. Might need to do it a little bit over. Might wanna resize it too. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, spinny. That should be good enough for now. Well, here. Move it up a little. 
As you can see, we can also move this on top and see if it's just wonky. Okay. Might just be the sizing. You could see that this has so far been the hardest part, <laughs> which is totally okay. It happens. Okay, so we're going to move that backwards again. Just make sure it looks good. Then we spin it. Move that little guy. Make sure it's perfect. Centered. Should be okay, hopefully. That could be the template I made. Alright, lock position only. Here we go. Oh. We want to select that from our layers, the right template, to test it. Nope, still not perfect. Make it a little smaller. Okay. All right. Good enough for the purposes of this video. Okay, so next we're going to animate this layer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna do animate, and then you're going to want to do on the add motion effects, rotate. And that's what you're doing. So we wanna move it back. So you can remove this animation, and we wanna move this back to where it was. Position, grab that bottom layer, and we can circle it back to day one exactly where we want it to start and then we can go back to animate and then we can go to rotate and then you can I have it up here done perfectly I'll get rid of that for this and then I'll do play and you could see what it looks like perfect so then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to share download and download it as an mp4 and you can upload that to your Etsy listing uh, as you can see, the trickiest part of this is to actually um, get it to be aligned perfectly <laughs> for a circle with those different cutouts and stuff. And when I make these products, I always make sure to cut them out and then make sure I put them together with an actual brad pin to make sure that the product spins correctly so that the user will have the best user experience. And when you're making your videos, that's what you can do too. And if you want tons of other great video um, creation ideas for Etsy listings, you can check out my course on how to create videos to sell more digital products. It teaches you how to do animations like this, teaches you how to do even more detailed animations. It also teaches you how to do tutorial videos like the one I'm doing right now. It also teaches you how to do editing of your videos and it teaches you how to speed them up, slow them down, to edit them, to cut them, to make them super cute to sell more of your digital products. So check that out. The link is in the description and have a great day.